Hey everyone, Eric Wooldridge here with the Additive Guru channel. I want to talk to you a little bit about a piece of equipment you have to have in your additive manufacturing lab at all times, operational, and that is a digital caliper. Um, you can go non-digital if you want to, but they're, they're just so easy to use that I'd definitely recommend digital. And here's one of the things that you really need this for, aside from like part validation and checking measurements, what you really need it for is checking your filament. And what we're talking about is the diameter associated with the filament you're purchasing. Why it's important is because your slicer system will essentially estimate what the diameter value of this is. Now typically we like, to, like it to be what it's supposed to be, in this case 1.75 millimeters in terms of diameter. But it's not always the case. So it's important that when you're doing some quality control within your lab that you use your digital caliper to check and make sure that it is being what it's supposed to be. So we will do some random checks on our filament. We can see that we've got a measurement of about 1.71 millimeters here. And we move on down the filament a little bit, check at another point, and we find out that it is 1.75, dead on target where it's supposed to be. And then a person may unroll it even more, maybe a few more feet, maybe a lot, just depends on how your rows are provided, and check it again. Looks like we're dealing with a 1.72. So, in generally speaking, this is a, a pretty good uh, application for uh, tolerance. I mean, it could be better, obviously, but uh, point, you know, point zero three, that kind of thing, not too much of a problem for for the work that we're doing. Uh, and it also, your slicer can, by its estimating of 1.75, the range of a small value like that's not a big deal. Now, if it starts getting down to 1.6 or uh, 1.62, or maybe even it jumps up to 1.85 then it might actually throw off your slicer. We have seen strands in certain types of filament, sections of it, where it's just way too small. And what happens is you'll get a low quality print or you'll get a, a thin layer. And that thin layer in terms of a Z-axis bond is very, very bad. So keep that in mind. Get you some digital calipers. Check your filament every so often to make sure your quality controls, especially if you're seeing bad layers in your production. Check the filament first. All right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you.